Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking to you about my new unit that I received from evawigs.com and as you can see in this video I'm going to be doing a curly and straight demonstration on this unit. If you want to know more about what I'm wearing, stay tuned. So in this video I'll be showing you guys the new wig that I received from evilwigs.com and it's actually a U part wig that I received and it looks like this and I will do a zoom in so you guys can see the inside of this unit. So here's the middle part, the two combs at the side that are requested. There's a comb in the back, comb on this side, comb on that side. Thing. The unit came in a beautiful blue box, like so, and inside the box I received the product descriptions, which um, the product details, so this is like basically like my invoice, and I got a wig cap that came with extra combs in it, and a beautiful wide tooth comb. The product details on this unit, I will have it listed below, but I'm going to read it out to you. The hair color is a 1B, the hair texture is Indian Remy, it's 20 inches long, the texture is Yaki Straight, the density is 120, the lace material is Swiss, the lace color is light brown, cap size is petite, the ventilation is a center part, so I requested to have a center part, and the part width is 1 inches or um, 1 and 3 and a half inches. So, that's what this looks like. Now, you can, if you want to, change it to a side part, but it'll be kind of difficult because there are flaps in this particular unit. So once I cut this lace off, it's going to fit perfectly for a center part. So if you want it for a side part, you should request for a side part because this is going to be kind of a little shifted a little bit with the flap being up on this side if you want the side part and this flap being behind your ear. Now remember, when you're styling your hair or when you receive your units from any of your wig um, companies of your choice, make sure that you style it, you, not style it, but make sure that you put it on and see how it fits and see if you like the texture and everything like that before you cut the lace. And I already did that before um, recording this video because this is like my 18th take. So I don't need to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the lace off of this unit. This is actually my first time getting a U-part unit from a wig company. So let's see how this goes. Um, the tag is also on it, um, which I think is pretty cool to have their tag, but it's not on the lace to mess it up. It's actually on the flap that you need to cut off. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna cut the lace off and I'm gonna be right back with the unit on my head for styling. The lace is now cut off of my U-part. So this is what it looks like. And now, now excuse my braids, I have um, tomorrow's wash day, so these braids are going to be taken out. They look kind of rough underneath, but I actually have my hair braided for my other wigs, so I have spaces here. So I'm going to take these two braids out for my leave out, and then I'm going to connect the wig to these anchor braids right here. This looks really good. And this wig just straight out of the package. Sorry, that's my husband texting me. 
straight out the package. Now the only thing that I'm having a problem with is that this is not really staying the front flap so I would suggest to get like a bobby pin maybe to keep that down or maybe have that braided. So let's do that. Just gonna take a hairpin and just try to get that to stay down. But I love it. It just feels so natural. The hair feels really good. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn my curl and iron on uh, just to give it a curl test, but I'm gonna also zoom in so you guys can see. Now again, excuse the roots because I did not flat iron my hair really well. I didn't want to put too much heat in my hair, but I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see how well it blends with my hair. Look at the blending. My curl and I is nice and hot now, so let's give it a curl test to see how well it curls up. So it gave me a little curl in it. I wonder if I put layers in it, if it'll, if it'll give me more defined curls since the hair is fully 20 inches all over, but it did bump the ends a little bit. Just a little. I just put my flat iron on to see how it's going to bump the ends. Yep. So this is the curl that I got using my flat iron. So it does curl really nice. It's a really pretty curl. And then I'm going to make this part right here bone straight so you guys can see. Straight and curly. And my flat iron is currently on 400 degrees. So this is how it looks bone straight on this side. And then on this side is where my curl is. Really, really pretty. I'm loving this U part. Like, love it, love it, love it. So, so pretty. Let me let me know your thoughts. You know, I always like when you guys give me your two cents. So let me know what you guys think about this unit. Let me give this side a little curl. So for my initial review on this unit, it I love it. Very, very simple. It's so lightweight. It feels so good. Um, as I told you before, it's full lace. This is how the unit looks on straight. This is how it looks with the curl. It actually holds a, a curl really decently, and I love the way it looks really curled. It matches my relaxed hair. I just got to get the blending on the top to work with me. I think what I would do is, if I'm wearing this unit, just make sure that my braid starts back here so I can have the unit um, start all the way from the front. That way I wouldn't have a problem with it shifting. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and stay tuned for more because I have a few more wigs in my stash that I want to show you guys. So let me know what you guys think about this particular unit. I'm going to put all the information down below in this video and I will see you guys next time.